to your February 14th through the 19th reading. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys. And guys, be sure to share these readings with your friends and family. Those who watch tarot or are interested in tarot, right? Okay. And if you guys would like personal readings done, you can find all the information in the description box under the video. Okay. Best message, please, for the 14th through the 19th. Taking the lead. Ooh. It is time for you to take the lead. At the 14th through the 19th, you're going to feel like you have control over the situation. You are holding the reins, right? It is you who is holding the reins, no one else. You're in control of the situation, whatever the situation may be. Right? Avoiding anybody else's bad decisions. <laughs> right? Like, I got this. I'm in control. Okay. That is the same as three of wands. Right? I have the lead. Because I have the blossom. I have the judgment call. This is the judgment. This is you blossoming. This is you taking on what it is you need to take on and having the sudden awareness that, you know what, it's going to be up to me to get these things done. So, you know what, if you had anybody else around you, you're just inspired enough to understand that if I want something done, it's going to have to be done the way I want it done. Uh, maybe they cannot do it, right? So, no one else can do this but myself. If I want this, you know, house fixed, I'm going to fix the house. If I want that sink fixed, maybe I have to do it myself or call someone myself to get it done because they're not going to do it, right? So, okay, and you're definitely blossoming over here, really finding the truth and, uh-oh, and seeing the inner awareness to the situation over here, right? Yep, this is going to be a win or lose situation and you know it, so it's almost like it's going to either cut through this or it's going to cut like ice, right? So it's either going to be one way or another, finding the opportunity that beckons, what is the beckoning opportunity that you have, right? So really spreading your wings over here and taking the lead. So you definitely are taking the lead as the emperor over here because there is something going on that was causing anxiety and stress. And you're saying, I'm not going to deal with that anymore. That is done. I am done and over that. Hold on, guys. I have to plug this in. You know, and I am done and over with that. So, yeah, having a completion. So, really walking into a new chapter over here for yourself. A place where you have more hope and faith for the situation. Could be dealing with an Aquarius who is just, you know what, they're working with you. But I think that the way that you guys could work together is a lot better. Um, but it does feel like you're the stronger leader, right? So, where they're focused and they're doing what they're doing, right, you're saying, uh but I would like for you to do this as well. But win or lose, it's okay. I'm just going to take the lead and everything will be fine, right? And this causes a more positive movement as you're spreading your wings to fly over here. Um, you guys could have had a sudden change or something that was very overwhelming to the both of you. Um, could also be dealing with a Pisces, uh, right, that caused some kind of delay. And it feels like this is where you ended up having to take the lead. It was almost like you guys were working on something together. They're really doing what they're doing, but it just feels like it's not going the way you want it to go. So I have to take the lead in the situation. You have considered, even though you have all the darkest fears over here, you've considered that the, this is the only way you can accept this. Because this is the only way to find peace within this situation, right? This is where you're going to find your security and really work hard for your family. So if you know that you had to take on another job or do something like that for the family, then that's really what it was. It was like, they're working hard, I'm working hard. We're trying to get this balanced. But this chaos and sudden upheaval, they may have lost their job and now you have to go get, uh, they have to go, maybe you have to go get a job because they lost a job. However it is, you had to release something or something was released out of your life to where you feel like now I have to go after this new reward. So, you know, but, <clears throat> wow. So if they lost a job and you have to go pick up, the, you know, another job or you have to go pick up a job, right, then this is going to cause this energy um, of trying to get financially back stable. 
you, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay. And this really brings you into emperor mode over here because this is where you're going to really take control and be disciplined about this situation, right? Where you're getting balanced. We have the temperance coming on top of the movement card and it's saying this is the movement that I'm making at this time is where the balance and harmony is going to be. This will have its purpose in finding what it is that's truly needed within this relationship, within this area of my life. But patience is going to be needed, right? Because it's definitely slow, right? Slow moving, even though you're working so hard. So it could be too that, yeah, you have this kind of resilience, so it's like I am walking on this broken stick that I am so, like, have to be there, right? Even though I'm kind of hurt, um, right? I do have these eight of wands behind me, um, and it is kind of holding me back, but I do have the courage to keep going with this one wand, right? So using that one wand really as your walking stick, right, as you're trying to get past those other eight sticks that are, you're trying to leave behind you, which is the worrisome and the chaos, right? Making kind of your last stand. I mean, you're like the wounded warrior over here, but you're definitely doing what you're supposed to be doing and you're gearing up for kind of like, like war, right? War over here of finances, trying to get this done. I do like it though, because it does look, you do have the teamwork coming through where you are definitely building something and it does feel like, you know what? Even though I am feeling restless, there's that energy again of that nine of swords coming through of what you fear over here, the darkest fears. It's saying it's okay though, because now this is no longer upright. It's upside down, which is I am exhausted. I am burned out, but you know you are because you're the wounded warrior, but you're still moving strong as you can be. So even though you're stressed out, right, you're still building something and it feels like they are going to help out more so than they were before right? Because as the opportunity beckons, it was like the four of cups over here saying they're diligently working and trying to do what they're supposed to be doing. But you know what? It's just not enough. So now you're going to feel like they're actually coming back towards you saying, okay, here we go. We're going to do this. We're going to collaborate more. I'm going to be on your side. I'm going to help out. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And they're going to message you and start moving up that ladder. And they're going to say, okay, because now I see your burden and I'm going to work harder, right? And we're going to collaborate, right? Taking on extra responsibilities because they see you're taking on extra responsibilities. So they obviously want to, wow. And it's nice of them to actually join the party now, isn't it? <laughs> with the page of Pentacles. So you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius who's just kind of flighty all over the place, right? Or a Cancer, right? But there is still a little bit of moodiness. And I think that this might be coming from you because it was like, wow, thanks for joining the party. Um, I know you were working hard, but you allowed me to do all of this kind of on my own, even though, you know, and that's why I took on the extra reins, you know, pulled my pants up, put on a belt and got out there, but I expected you to kind of meet me more halfway. See that, that's the thing. It's like, okay, they were trying to do whatever they were trying to do, but they could have tried harder, right? They could have tried a little bit harder. So, yeah, you're a little disappointed in them just coming in all of a sudden towards the 19th. It's like, oh, my God, you've been waiting this long. Now, all of a sudden, towards the end of the month, they all of a sudden want to come in and say, hey, geez, let me help you over there. So, of course, you're going to be a little moody, right? But it does say you're going to try to your hardest to avoid conflict, um, <clears throat> right, as you're trying to get out of the Eight of Swords. The only reason you're kind of in Eight of Swords is because you kind of restricted yourself to this right? This anxiety, this restlessness, this, you know, energy that has you kind of trapped and imprisoned. Um, and it could be a little bit of victim mentality in its own way. Because why? Because they had the resistance to, to want to change. So yeah, you could be running around going, yeah, and they could have done this and they could have done that. Geez, you know, they could have done this. Right, but now it feels like they feel a little guilty about the situation, so now they want to come in and try to help. Um, wow. Jeez, don't be overwhelmed and have anxiety and be in conflict. Here, let me help you out. But actually, in a lot of ways, them coming back now to try to say, oh, geez, this and that actually is causing kind of more of a conflict than it would have been if they would have kept their mouth shut 
and just kind of went there. I don't know. It just feels like they want to kind of open their mouth and say, geez, why are you so, you know, overwhelmed? Oh, gee. And it's just like, really? So there's that defeat at all ends and costs. This is what it was right here. Five of swords, win or lose. This is the way it's going to be. You know, you're either going to step up and help or you're not. But no matter how it's going to be, it's going to be win or lose because I'm taking the lead and I'm going to get out there and do what I have to do. So, wow. Okay, guys. So, well, at least they're actually going to step up and do that. But I do see how that's going to make you a little frustrated because that could have been happening a month ago. That could have happened two weeks ago. That could have happened the beginning of the month ago, you know, whenever it started. You know, and it's almost kind of crazy because it's like as soon as they've seen you getting overwhelmed, that's when they should have said something, not waiting this whole time and then say, wow, I don't know why you're so tired. I don't see what you're so overwhelmed with. Here, let me help pick up the pace. Oh, you get it now. Okay. So that is definitely a windfall um, within the relationship of how things are going to go on communication for sure. Right? 100 uh, okay, guys, almost like they just woke up all of a sudden one day and just said, wow, I, I can see that you're so overwhelmed. Alrighty. Well, at least they wake up. Till next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.